Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you three simple movements to make your freestyle look much better. All right, so let's go for it. This video is brought to you by Beyond The Move, the freestyle dance program for any dancers at any levels. So what I'm talking about actually, I don't even see it as a movement really, it's more as a principle. And what I mean about that is rolling. Rolling is a principle that I like to use to kind of uh, make my freestyle more smooth, you know, and kind of create more continuity in my freestyle. And by doing this alone, this can actually help you make your dance, make your freestyle dance look better because there is more continuity and fluidity to your movements. Okay, so we're going to be rolling three body parts okay we can be we could be rolling way more than that okay but we're going to be focusing on these three body parts for today's lesson okay so what i mean by rolling is a very simple movement you know for example we're going to start you know rolling just the shoulder okay we're going to be focusing on rolling the shoulder and now you might be saying really nickel is that all that i'm going to be learning today <laughs> but trust me we're gonna dive much deeper, you know, with that, okay? But once again, it's a simple, you know, it's an easy principle that, I, like I said at the beginning, anyone can do. But now the most important thing is to understand how we can integrate that in our free state and actually capitalize on this very simple principle of rolling, okay? So once you roll, you know, you'll you know, you understand the, the principle of rolling your shoulder. You know, you can be, you know, rolling your shoulder like that. And then now you start also doing this with your chest. You know, very simple. You're just rolling your chest, you know, on many different directions. It's, you know, any directions that you want, you're just rolling your chest, you know. And then you do the same thing, same principle, but now this time it's gonna be for the hips, okay? So we are rolling the hips, you know, the same right just rolling the hips you know in any direction that you want you can go you know this way you can go this way you can also start going you know like that you see what i mean so these type of ways that you are rolling okay so now that we understand the principle and how we're going to be using it and like i said we we could be you know talking about rolling you know you know, your head we could be you know talking about rolling your ankle rolling your knee you know so there are so many things that you we could be doing but we're going to be focusing on these three parts okay now once again we want to focus on adding continuity in our freestyle consistency in our freestyle and more fluidity to our freestyle so that everything can start to go even more smooth right and this alone if you manage to do this well you will make your dance look much better right and especially when you know how to be intentional about it okay at the beginning the first exercise would be you play the music yeah and the goal is to stay a uh, stand still right without when i say stand still um, I, I mean, don't step around, okay? You can't move around. You're gonna stay in the same spot and you just want to start rolling your shoulder, your chest, and your hips, you see? And just playing with these three alone. You see what I mean? And at the beginning, I don't want you to think too much about the music, you know, and hitting the beat and all of that. I just want you to, to think about sensation, all right? Just feel what's going on in your body when you do this, you see? Just rolling like that, yeah? Yeah, just sometimes maybe, you know, some other part of your body take, take go, um, goes as well, for example, your neck, but it's okay. But just, you know, the main focus, is here, chest, here, back, here, hips, boom, back. You know, just play with this and see what you can come up with and how you can make, can make it as smooth as possible, you know? And at the beginning, you're gonna start doing this 
and you might feel very restricted because you can't move that much, you know? And you're like, mm, yeah, but okay, what else I can do? And this is when you want to tap into your creativity and start thinking about different stuff, you know, changing levels, you know, things like this, for example, and you keep rolling, you, you, keep, you keep rolling, rolling, you know? And you really want to play with this more and more, yeah? And like I said, you're not moving around, you stay here, sensation first, okay? Feeling first, you know? And you do this for quite some time. And that's the first exercise, okay? Now let's go to the second exercise. Once you've, you've done this and you really started to play with this and feel comfortable with the way you are rolling your shoulder, your chest, your hips, and then playing with different level and many different things, then I want you to do the same thing, but now you want to start exploring even more with your entire body while moving at the same time. But I don't want you to think performance yet. Don't think performance yet. Still, still stay in the exploration mode, okay? So therefore, I'm not necessarily hit, trying to hit everything in the music. For the moment, I still, you know, focus on feeling sensation, but this time I can move around more. You see what I mean? I can move around more and I start exploring more like that, okay? So I'm gonna play the music and then I'm just gonna start, you know, exploring a bit more. All right, let's go for it. So once again, this time I can roll and move around, okay? And my goal here is to be as smooth as possible, right? and add and keep a consistency in my groove, yeah? Yeah? And I keep moving around. Yeah? Keep exploring. Yeah? So it looked like this on me, but on yourself, it's gonna look differently. And that's the goal. But as long as you understand the principle, it's all that matter, right? But then the way you move is yours. So you take the information, you implement it, and then you start customizing it. And then it look just like yourself. You see what I mean? So that's what I'm doing here. All right, and I keep on rolling. Okay, that's it, right? So, once you feel really comfortable with this one as well, then the next step is to start freestyling with it for real, you know? Usually, the way I like to practice is that if I've got, for example, one hour to train, or let's say I've got two hours to train, I like to divide my training in two parts. The first half of my training, I'm gonna focus only on exploring on the subject. So if it's, okay, I wanna you know, explore the rolling, then for the first half of my training, I'm just gonna be doing this, you know? And just, you know, utilizing the principle of rolling you know, to explore and explore and explore and explore as much as I can. You see what I mean? And once I do that long enough, because doing that for one song, it's not enough. Two songs, it's not enough. Three songs is not enough, you know? So you need hours of training, you know, to explore, to explore something. And once I do that, the second half of my training, I dedicate it to just um, freestyle. You know, because like that, I'm not always on only in um, only in uh, practice and exercise mode. You know, I also want to just you know let my body express it, it, itself just by you know moving, you know, and start freestyling. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing right now. So I'm just gonna play the music and freestyling by utilizing the principle of rolling. You know, okay. So, and yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, let's go for it.
<laughs> all right so once again take your time you know you're not here to ex uh, impress anyone you're just here to express you know the information that you've been gathering and just explore it first and then you start integrate it in your freestyle slowly but slowly you know uh, surely but slowly sorry uh, so yeah that's all you need to do and just by doing this and keep in mind the principle of rolling you know and then you can start utilizing it you know to create so many things connections between one body part to another and when you are moving you still keep the consistency in your groove just by you know keep on the principle of rolling going you see what i mean and this alone can definitely make your freestyle look better right so that's the message for today so now the next step is if you want to push this information to a higher level and most importantly understand your natural way of moving so that you can actually take any type of movement and integrate them in your freestyle and push your freestyle dance to a higher level then beyond the move might be exactly what you are looking for so i invite you to click on the link in the description below to check out you know um um, our program and we have a whole module just on movement itself but most importantly it's not about me showing you movement it's actually me helping you understand further your natural way of moving so that you can capitalize on it and make it your strength you know so uh, that's pretty much it so if you want to have more details about that click on the link in the description below and you can start your free trial today and I'll see you on the next one all right See you, take care, bye.